this right here is a story about surfers. Five of them, in fact. Teaching lessons to tourists at a little joint called the Royal Hawaiian Surf Academy, which also doubles as the guy's home. Alex is the leader of the group, a skilled waterman who's always on the hunt for the next big wave. Then there's Casey, the sophisticated one. He's all man. And yes, ladies, he's single. Matt's an energetic young man, a real spark plug that keeps the school running. Dave's the nice guy, with an appreciation for the finer things in life. Oh, bubbles. Sean's the muscle, and behind that pizza lies a superior fighting machine with all the toppings. And last but not least is the man in charge of it all, Royal Hawaiian owner and landlord, Kimo Kinimaka. I'll kick you in the face right now. He's a gentle man with a heart of gold. Teaching the world to surf is hard work, and that's why these guys avoid it at all costs. The good thing about Hawaii. Our story begins on an ordinary afternoon at the Royal Hawaiian Surf Academy. It was a Wednesday, by all accounts, a boring day. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday. Boring day, got nothing to do. Let's do something. <coughs> we should go somewhere. Four wheeling. <laughs> Four wheeling with the Hawaiians. Hey, let's go stop that. Now, before I show you what happens next, I think we may have gotten a little bit ahead of ourselves. First, let's go back to the beginning of the story, the first day of summer. The tourist season was in full swing, and that morning the boys at Royal Hawaiian were getting together for their annual kickoff meeting. One by one, these titans of the surf industry assemble. What's up, Davey? How's it? What had started with a couple of kids who liked to surf had grown into a real business, thanks to one man, All their the boys boss. They have nose guards before they go out. What's up, Kimo? Good morning. morning, brother. What time is it? 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock. That's what I thought. Let's get everybody, wake them up. Tell them to get up here right now. I'm not f***ing around. Hurry up. Meeting time, right? Yeah. Or all you guys go back to the mainland. Bye. All right, boys. Casey's up. Gator, you up? We're gonna have that meeting in like five minutes. All right, cool. Right on. Shoot. Where the f is everybody? <sighs> meeting, five minutes. With another busy year set to begin, the excitement in the air was palpable. Yeah, DV. It's meeting time. Sitting in the back somewhere. All right, boys. Summertime. Are you guys excited or what? OK. Everybody knows that starting June 1st, everybody's pay went up to $50 per class. OK. When the customers arrive, Please, when you guys are sitting around and stuff, if you see people walking past you, even if you're in the middle of a conversation, take a second to stop and say hello. 
please. What's up, guys? Hello. What's up, guys? Not right now, you guys. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> Oh, you guys are killing me. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, just, just one more second, please. You know I count on you guys. You guys are the leaders for Royal Hawaiian. You guys, let's go get a 12-pack and go to the beach. Casey, we're not even done yet. Casey, quit smiling. I'm going to come over and kick you in the face right now. I ain't joking. I want you guys all come in office now and get your schedules. Peace. Thanks, Kimo. Over it. I don't feel like working today. What up, guys? Um, where's Casey? Hello, he was just with us. Wait. Casey was the Houdini of Royal Hawaiian, magically transforming responsibilities into a 12 pack. Mira, Mira, who's the fairest? Tricked a buck fifty on that horse and carriage. Casey was also the biggest thorn in Chemo's side. I need four instructors this morning. There's five of you. Figure it out. I'm going to go surf. Leave it to you guys. <laughs> that. Have fun. Alex, on the other hand, was the golden boy who could do no wrong in Kimo's eyes. He and Casey were about as different as you could get, but they'd been friends since they were kids. The same passion Alex had for surfing, Casey felt for liquor and porn. But while Casey's hobby has left time for other pursuits, Alex spent all his time in the water, and he never met a wave he didn't like. Alex didn't have a problem in the world. On land, he had Tanya. She's like, I'm going to get a massage and a facial. <laughs> yeah. Going rafting, and it sounds like she's keeping herself busy at least, you know? Of course, then you have somebody on the other side that's lost, like, one of Now, Alex friends. wasn't looking for a girlfriend, but a girlfriend had come looking for him. So one that liked to, to talk a lot. For, like, a year before they About the least interesting on earth. This was exactly why Alex needed a friend like Casey. Casey could always be counted on to get Alex into situations like this. Remember this? Now you're all caught up. back to town with a new look ride that may or may not have been street legal. Just another day in the life of a surf instructor. After the morning surf session, Casey convinced Alex to take a trip down to Kihei to hang out with some chicks they knew. But having just crashed their only ride, it looked like a quick trip to the body shop was in order. Yeah, let's rip this off. Yeah, kind of chop shop, Bobby. Okay, so here we go. Let's go grab Matt, go to Kihei. Let's go. Got the girls. The 
girls lived in Kihei, which was a 45-minute drive from Lahaina. By Maui standards, this was a pretty substantial trip. But Casey was sure that this investment would pay off. Hi, Tara. Oh, how are you doing? Good. Good. Alex had always been Casey's wingman. But ever since Alex got a girlfriend, he'd been neglecting his wingman duties. And Casey was determined to change all this by using the perfect bait, Lico. I know, I'm gonna hop in the water. I'm gonna see me fall a couple times before that. I gotta get warmed up. So I go surfing. All Alex could think was bring on the ass. But he wasn't the kind of guy that would say such a thing. <laughs> bring on the ass. Now, it was no secret that Lico had a thing for Alex. And this was exactly why Alex wanted to be a free man. After all, what's the point of being a young surfer in paradise if you can't take advantage of the perks? No one knew this better than Casey, who's always there to give a discreet nudge. Go in the water and get these chicks right now. Use the hair, bro. Let the hair be with you. All right, fine. As Alex dove in, Casey sat back and watched his master plan unfold. With Alex on board, it was time for Casey to set up the plans for the evening. What's up with the Barbie? Is it cracking or what? I got some chicks putting my finger in one of them's armpit. But... Nice. <laughs> smells good. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. All right, all right, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Now that the plans were set, it was game on. My boyfriend hates me right now. Does he? That's all right. My girlfriend wants to break up with me, too. Really? Yeah. The white lie was a rookie move, while the veteran always favored the honest approach. Girl, I'm making out with you tonight. That's all there is to it. Having successfully gotten the girls back to Lahaina for the barbecue, Casey was ready to turn on the charm. <laughs> Alex was thinking about everything but his girlfriend. So it's the verdict. I don't know. I think I'm in. What are you going to do? Just curious. Well, it goes down, it goes down. Yep. I mean, we'll just try and keep it mellow in case Tanya does screws over. Yep. I'm not going to get in trouble, at least. And so they headed back to the pad. Casey's plan was working maybe too well. Alex was fast on the way to a potential foursome. Three girls on your arm, feeling good, heading home for some late night fun. What could possibly go wrong? No, you weren't about to roll up to your bedroom at four in the morning with three chicks all over you just to find your girlfriend sitting there waiting. Oh wait, you were. What the hell are you doing here with her? Dude, whatever, you could bitch and moan until the day the cows come home. I'm just trying to walk away right now. Alex was fed up. While he was usually a pretty level-headed guy, tonight he'd had just a few too many cocktails, which might explain this. Gator just jumped the roof. And this. Go, we're out. Tanya is right there on the stairs. She's all pissed. Alex is tripping. that, Alex vanished into the night. The next morning, Kimo arrived at the school to find that not only was the company van smashed, but his lead surf instructor was missing. So did you hear what happened? You know what happened. Well, Alex is gone. What do you mean Alex is gone? I think he tried to paddle to the night. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. That's what Dave said. Serious? Where's yeah, Dave Ball? He's, he's Dave, what's up? I just talked to Matt. He said Gator paddled with an eye. Something about Tanya drinking all night. I don't know, dude. Whose paddle did he use? I have no idea. I'll, I'll go look right now, dude. I don't know. Dave, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Go down to the beach. Get all the boys. Just comb the beach. Be calm. We're going to find him. Kimo had lived on this island for over 30 years. And in that time, he'd seen the best watermen on Maui attempt to stand up on their boards and paddle across that channel. Some never came back, falling prey to the rough, shark-infested waters. If he gets caught in that current, 
there's a wind that picks up in the middle of the channel, he's gone. And the guys knew that when Alex had taken off, he was in no condition to be paddling across the ocean. Gotta go find Gator. Matt searched the harbor while the other guys scoured the town. Gator, dude. Kimo, I just paddled to all the boats. Anyone I could get on, I got on. And I don't think Alex has passed out any of the boat. Maybe you want to call a Coast Guard or whatever. Who knows where the f he is? I want you to call a Coast Guard right now. I want to report a missing person. He's actually a surf instructor for this academy. His name is uh, Alex Altamirano. The Coast Guard had its boats and planes out searching for Alex, but it had been eight hours since anyone had seen or heard from him. Alex? 24 years old, 5'9", 140, long, blonde hair. They have a visual on someone with a paddle. That could be our subject. Copy that. Uh, BC one. Yeah, I just pretty glad it's him. Our men are going to make their way towards him right now. It's not him. Repeat. That is not our subject. Yeah, we just talked to a fishing boat that has eyes on a young man paddling on the channel from Manili Bay. It's a fishing boat that knows a party, and they have a visual of him right alongside. The fisherman is going to get him on his boat and then call to confirm. Uh, the fishing boat captain described him as blonde hair, dark trunks. I believe this is our subject. OK. He's all right, guys. He's cruising in Lanai right now. This is, yes, it's Kimo. I got him right here. He's right here, bro. He's going to be right here. He's paddling out to me right now. He was just down from over and I. OK, cancel the search. Can I say, can I say something to Alex? Yeah. Man, what the f is going on? Nothing is going on. I was just paddling. All right, just just get home, Alex. We're all worried, man. Oh, this is hard, boys. Just like I was losing. While the tears continued to run down Kimo's face, Casey secretly wondered if Alex had tried to fake his own death just to get away from Tanya. A bold but warranted move. Yeah. Dude, we've been planning that together forever, and f***ing Tanya ruined it. Dude, if she f***ing lay off the guy, we could have piled together. With this one half-cocked adventure, Alex had joined the ranks of some legendary watermen. And now, one by one, the guys were quickly jumping on his jock. Alex is so cool. Everything he does is cool. Even when he loses it, it's cool. He made it all the way to Manili Bay. I'm jealous, dude. I've been planning <laughs> to do with him for like a year. I want to go so bad. There he is. Hey, what the f you been? but the fact that you made it is like pissed about the way you did it. It's the ocean. I'm a waterman. What the else am I gonna do? I think it's sick. I'm proud of you. After this long, dramatic experience, Tanya had so much she wanted to talk to Alex about, but for the first time, realized he didn't give it. But unfortunately for Alex, there was someone he had to listen to. Kimo, who was waiting back at Royal Hawaiian to give him an earful. I almost died this morning, just like worried about you. Bro, I sent the Coast Guard out. I know. I saw this helicopter <sighs> cruising the coastline. I'm like, they're looking for me. These guys. You know they're sick. looking for you. I just thank God that you're okay. Well, from here on out, I'm gonna be doing crazy ass water <laughs> for the rest of my <laughs> life. You guys try and keep me out of the water, why man? Try and keep me out wherever you guys want. You can cry all you guys want, but I'm gonna do that. <laughs> you know, you guys have been doing that since the '50s. Not telling anyone. This is what I do. Animal. You're an animal. Two smashed cars, one soon-to-be ex-girlfriend, and a full-on Coast Guard manhunt. Not bad for only the third day of summer. This 
season on Living Lahaina. Celebrate the spirit of sportsmanship. Bulldog him! Push him off and nail him! Feel the warmth of friendship. I love you, Dave. Don't make me kick you in the face. I'll kick you in the face right now. Learn to communicate without words. <laughs> Travel to exotic places and humiliate yourself. <laughs> Discover new cultures and feed them juice boxes. Watch as the secrets of surfing are revealed. <laughs> and live the adventure. <laughs> Living Lahaina, taste the magic. Tuesdays at 10.30 on MTV. Oh, I'm hurting again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Want to watch the season premiere again? Get as much Lahaina as you can handle right now at lahaina.mtv.com.